What's going on guys? It's Bo from Goo Gaming here and we're here with Austin. What's up? What's going on? How you doing today, buddy? Uh, doing pretty well, doing pretty well. Uh, got type A to this wonderful event. Uh, mm -hmm. Top four. Top four? Yeah, yep. technically. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah, yeah that's right, baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the jersey will be on next time. Yeah. <laughs> we got there with Centurion. Centurion, uh, yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah. The deck is kind of crazy. Interesting. It's yeah. different. It is, it is. Uh, you know, um, I was a Manadium guy. Yeah. Yep. I didn't like Calamity's locking with that, so I just switched to this one. Right, yeah. <laughs> Love Seacrest, right? Uh, uh, All right. Before, let's do shout outs. Yep, shout out always. to the entire Goocast, especially everyone here who, like, Hosted the event and helped run it. It was fantastic. Yep. If y'all have not came out to an event, you 100% should. We got people traveling from West Virginia. There ain't no reason y'all can't be That's here. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, shout out to my boys back home, Clifton. Um, and my boys, Rain and Zach, who yep. here, here, all we this. got there with. Yep. So, starting off, obviously, you have three uh primaria, mm -hmm. uh, the, the main card of the deck. Um, only tuner you got, so you gotta make her work. Um, right. Three Trudea, so Trudy. Uh, Trudy's like, she's pretty good considering that's all we have. Um, she's like guarantees you follow up is what she does. Right. Um, so uh, pretty mandatory to play three of those. Those are pretty normal. Um, most of us are playing uh, two Emmeth. I cut I've it down that. to one. Um, you never really have a problem getting to Emmeth. Um, like if they imperm you and stuff and you don't have an extender, you weren't getting to him anyway. Uh, he doesn't really work that well as an extender because um, then you can't synchro on your turn. So the only thing that, like, if this is your other card, the only thing you can make is a Lagashia on gotcha. their turn. And that's not, like, you're not playing then. You're yeah. just popping a card and drawing a card and hoping right. you don't die. Okay. Um, and then that's it for the Centurion Monsters. Mm -hmm. Not very many. Small no, package. no, no. Yeah, yeah. The, the, all we got. Yeah. Uh, and then for the other supplementary engine, you play the Horus Package. Yeah, so I you, love these cards. Oh, these cards are so cool. So, so, cool. so you play five monsters. Mm -hmm. um, the three M Seti, which is the best card. When you pitch this card, and they don't have ash. Oh, mm. it's the greatest one oh, in the world. It's engage. You it's can, not, you can it's move not engage. Mountains when yeah, you do yeah, that. Facts, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not engage, but it's close. Um, Cubasef. So he's the only. The reason I played him over um, Dimatef was that he's just generically twenty-five. Mm -hmm. um, like off the rip, you don't have to have anything else. So if like I eat through a board using these two and I just have to summon one he's the biggest one uh, that was really the only thing um, the, the targeting protection never came up um, honestly like if you get to that point and you're just calamities locking them so like that the, the, their secondary effects never really came up but um, yeah so that's why you play him over that right, yeah. and then yep. yep and then on to the main part of the deck hand trap city part, baby yeah. so we got three ash we got three valor yep. we got three crow mm -hmm and three nib and it's beautiful and look at all these gorgeous cards effects. an honorary three of them. also pretty good yeah also yeah, yeah um so these were just the best ones that i felt like that lined up well into the format right um can't really play shifter because the deck needs a graveyard mm -hmm. uh, especially with the horror stuff but um the other super cool interaction this deck has it didn't come up today unfortunately but if you nib your opponent yep and you have Valor, you can normal summon Valor and make the synchro with these two. Because that's 12. Yeah, it's 12. And 11 she's, plus one. Yeah, yeah, and she's generic. So, um, awesome. Yeah, that, How that, cool that, is that? Yeah. It didn't come up today, but it's mm. super cool. Absolutely. I love all the room for all the non engines. Oh, that's the best part about the deck is like you have, I think it's, let's see, let's see, there's what, six, six here plus. Uh, there's three other defensives, mm -hmm. uh, which I'll get to in a minute. Um, so I think there's like 21 defensive cards in the list, which is like fantastic. I love Unbelievable. it. Unbelievable, yep. Seeing two all the time. Right. And then on for the spells, you have stand up. Yep. Um, Broken card. So, yeah, just one card starter. Um, and then you have three oath. Also, just one card starter. Yep. Um, yeah, both of them basically just get you to a calamities under uh, four sun or under nib both times. Um, the one thing I will say weird is if you start with like, if you start with this, it makes it a little weird. Like Droll, there's certain ways where if you start with Droll, will hit a little harder. Um, but most of the time you're pretty okay. Right. And then, uh, the other Centurion is just Centurion Bonds. Yeah, Bonds. Uh, yeah, it's just, so if my hand is godly and I don't have to search for one of, you know, this card, um, off of Primaria, I'll search Bonds. Um, especially going into games two and three, because um, a bestial will actually ruin this deck. Because uh, she had, the the tuner is a light. She's a light. Yeah. Yeah. So like, if they bestial your tuner out of your graveyard, you can't set it back. 
So if your hands, if my hand allows it and I don't have to search for one of them, I'll always search for bonds just to play around the best deal. Um, gotcha. That way you can still guarantee calamities on their turn. Yep, very cool point. And then um, obviously the two Sark. Yep. Uh, two Sark's better than one Sark. Uh, there's a lot of times where I would hard open Sark, the first Sark and Msetti, I would get the Sark. Mm -hmm. The Sark would get popped and then you would activate the other one and then they would be a very upset. Right. It's great, <laughs> two Sark. Yeah. And then um, defensive. Eclipse. Another non a yeah, very oh, cool yeah. card. Yeah. Uh, Pearly was scary because I don't think this deck can effectively out a noir. Right. So I just wanted a card that like interacts pretty well with them. So that this was it. Job done. Yep. Sure. And then the last card is the trap card. Uh the Phalanx trap card. The I love one. this card. This, this card, sweet. yes. This card, um, so the other the counter trap is what I've seen a lot of people on. Uh, I think more people are starting to switch to this card. Mm -hmm. Um so the other cool interaction is in the graveyard you banish it to special summon your synchro back and then uh neg it by fifteen hundred, which conveniently puts it at two K so it protects itself. Mm -hmm. But um, like the combo with like this and nib is like you'll pitch this I'll add like if I'm game one I'll add this card yep. and I'll pitch it off of like Sark or the field spell and then what if you have nib and then you'll nib your opponent on their turn which gets rid of your synchro if they if like they interrupt your calamities right, obviously. Yeah, yeah. you'll nib them on their turn and then uh, if they go to end phase you just banish this card from the graveyard summon your synchro back pop the nib token draw a card and then set up like full combo again next turn um, so I think this one's just insane interaction right i now. also agree big fan of that one yep, yep. Right. two lagasha yeah. yeah broken card broken um, love this card uh, honestly doesn't do anything really like if you think <laughs> it's just a 3500 body on your opponent's turn that's <laughs> like really scary but um yeah this card it uh, it gets you there it allows you to set primary back mm -hmm. um crimson dragon yep um you gotta play this guy yeah absolutely yeah. and then uh the other so you're typically making this on your opponent's turn, this on your turn, or if they like have something to interact with your Crimson Dragon, you'll make this guy. Yeah, um, Samurai guy. Yeah, Samurai guy. Draw three cards. Uh, pretty cool. Uh, I did it a couple times today, drawing three like unique hand traps off of him. You just feel invincible. So, uh, and then as far as the Crimson Dragon targets, we have three in the main, or three in, like an extra. We have Red Supernova, uh, Calamities, mm -hmm. and then Blazar. Yep. So. Calamities is obvious. If yes. it resolves, you probably Everyone win the game. Everyone wants this one banned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. Uh, Blazar is the one where it's like, typically if you're going into turn two, or your turn two, uh, you'll try and summon this and then attack because it's the, the Omni Negate to protect you from, like, and you just kill your opponent. Right. And this card, um, so the, the level 12 pool kind of sucks. Uh, we found out, like, testing the deck. Um, and this card doesn't do a lot into Unchained. If they have, like, a set and then, like, Shavara. Yeah. Like, they just play on your turn, and they don't die, and then they on the next turn, they're just going to kill you. Because um, they can play through everything, because it's unchained, right. those cards are broken. Mm -hmm. um, so, this card, they'll go, like, set one, Aruha to target, or Shavar to target, and you just banish it. And then, like, the banishing just eats them. And he's uh, also huge. He gains 500 for every, yeah, yeah. for every tuner. So, like, if you Baylor and Ash them, he's just gaining 1,000. Uh, and then the last synchro is 1-8, uh, Scarlight. Yep. So it's a time card. Mm -hmm. Obviously, it also helps clear boards. Um, the, there's not a lot of the times where you're going to make an 8. Um, but this, like I said, there was, I needed a card for time. Um, and the way that it works is you can make this guy first with the horror stuff, trying to activate it, and then that baits it out. And if they negate it, it's an 8. So you can use the horse cards in this to make our other time card, Giant Trainer. Giant Trainer, yeah, and then, like, they have to have, card. Yeah, they have to have double infirm. Mm -hmm. Um and then on for the other rank eights. Yep. Um, so in order from uh, least, from worst to greatest. Right. So zombie, zombie vampire, vampire didn't come up once. Um, Photon Lord, uh, he's pretty good. Um, Must be effect negate guy. Yeah, effect yeah. negate guy, uh, just to protect from nib. I, I made him. Usually I make him like on the crackback or like going into a board. Like I'll set him up afterwards. Mm -hmm. um, didn't really make him at all going first. Yeah. And then uh, Heretic Sky. See, I like the, this card's my favorite I've seen one. Seen this one very often. Yeah, yeah uh, it's cool. kind of like a new little thing. Yeah. Uh, it just negates a targeting effect from the mm -hmm. on the field, graveyard, or banish. So if they try to bestial your guy, you can make that. That's another way you can play around it. Gotcha. Um, and then uh, one rank four is Exiton. Mm -hmm. In testing, it came up where like there would be times where I would just need to make Exiton blow up the field, um, and then throw a Zeus over top of it. Yep. Um, didn't come up today, but it's there. Uh, you have a little bit of extra deck space, so. It, and then obviously the boy Zeus. Yep. 
and then you can, you can hard bank this, right? Yes, you can because they're, they're level twelves. Yeah. I make my synchros. I just slap them on that. Yeah. Didn't make it once hard today, but right. I, I'm going it's to. It's so it. cool that you can yeah, do that. I'll, I'll yeah, th I'll throw a game to make this hard. It's just that, <laughs> yeah, I'm not, not that way. But and then Typhon, yeah. yeah. Uh, in the mirror, this card's really good because mm -hmm. um, they don't summon twice on your turn or on their turn, but they summon twice on your turn with Crimson Dragon. Yes, um, exactly. And all of their monsters are huge, so Typhon just says no effect. Now, granted, right. they just beat over it, so it doesn't really matter, but. You know, still nice yeah. to have. And then on to the sun. Yeah. Uh, the one of is pink. Yep. Very solid yeah, card. Yeah, it just another card for Pearly. Um, mm -hmm. Doesn't really help with Unchained, um, but. It attacks over Rescue a little night. Yeah, it attacks. Yeah, that's another thing. And then yeah. Rescue Ace, I think this card's pretty good too. So. Pretty good against that, yeah. And then three Druid Swarm. This was more for Unchained and Tier. I didn't mm -hmm. play any Tier today, but I did play some Unchained. Uh, this card's pretty good. I played it's Dragons too today, funny enough. Yeah. Great card into very, that. Very, very good. good. Um, I will say I do wish a Zombie Vampire will probably be Baron, um, simply because post-board I can summon this um, and, and then Synchro model. off with yeah, it. With the, um, the problem I found today when I summoned it, I didn't really have an effective way of getting it off the board to trigger its effect. Uh, so I think the Zombie Vampire would be Baron. Um, that way that, that kind of mitigates that. Mm -hmm. And then... Um, because it has to be somewhere in your deck. Yeah, got to play this thing. Yeah, yep. yeah, yeah, like if, in case you play Manadium, in case mm. you play... Um, it, yeah, Flu Yeah, Flu, stuff yeah, like that, uh, yeah. The only problem, like, I didn't want to main this card because, like, this deck plays through it really well. Unchained doesn't play, really play mm -hmm. into it, and Rescue Ace doesn't do anything. Right. And um, I think Rescue Ace and Unchained are the two best decks in the format. Yeah. So, like, this card's just very subpar against those, so I don't think you can main this card anymore. Mm -hmm. um, Makes sense to side yeah, yeah, so, but siding yeah. it, it has to be there. Right. Um, and then for spells, we had three Cyclone. Okay. Also, Haven't unchained. Seen this one in a while. Yeah, unchained. Um, you, they target their spell and, or their trap card. They set one. Mm -hmm. You know, they do the old uh, brick strategy, and you're like, yes. And they're like, Aruha, and you're like, fuck. All right. <laughs> well, them, yeah. yeah. So you just cosmic it. Um, this is not bad yeah. in the mirror, too, yes, right? Yes, exactly, because they um, they summon. Uh, you can also cosmic the field spell, which you can't do anything else because the field spell, as long as you control a centurion, mm -hmm. can't be destroyed by card effects. Gotcha. Um, so cosmic eats it against pearly too. You can hit their uh, my friend. Or you can hit their street um, to make things targetable. So it has that, that application. And then uh, the back row package mm -hmm. um, I, with the pink. The, I had three spots for, like, for one ofs. Yep. So I just put lightning storm, um, pink, and then harpies. Uh, just to take, yeah, kind of deal with the back row stuff too. Backers, I, yep. And I always like to have five cards to side in for back row matchups. So that still hit the number that yeah, I like. That's pretty strong. Yeah, Labyrinth's scary. Very scary. And then the last three cards. Woo, floodgates. Pretty good card, yeah. Oh, absolutely. Um, this card just is one of the better floodgates in the meta against Pearly. Like, I, it did take a hit with Little Knight coming out, because uh, right. a lot of decks can just make Little Knight and out it that way. But then they have to waste a lot of resources to do it. They would rather do something yeah. else. Um, Almost every yeah. time, yeah. So, plus it's like, you know, you get hand-trapped a bunch, you set this, you're probably not dying. Right. But this card was good all day. All right. But yeah. All right, well. That'll, that'll do it. All right. Really, really proud of you for getting top four. Absolutely. Once again, shout out to you Gaming for this amazing tournament. Yes. All right. All right. I'll see and we'll catch you on the next one. Yep. Bye.